what is up it is me prince of what is and i am back here with another video um i want to just tell you guys real quick that i will be restarting uh black clover what ifs i'm just rereading the manga right now so i can remember everything i'm writing down the character's name because i'm pretty sure some of you resent me for stopping the series but i want to make a better series now so if you have any suggestions for black clover what ifs put them down in the comments of this video and i'll see what i can do but without any further ado, let's get right into the video. And I will be posting another video today at around 5 o'clock. So, yeah. Two videos today. Let's get right into the story. So, last time we left off, Bakugo got in Deku's way because he's been suspicious for a while now. Bakugo says, Who the hell are you? I know I've seen you somewhere. And Ace responds by saying, Why do you care? I don't even know who you are. And then Bakugo says, Just answer my question. Ace walks up to him and says, I don't know what your deal is, but you said you were going to be number one, right? Then figure this out yourself. While Ace is walking away, he also is thinking that he might have seen Bakugo before, but just forgets about it and heads to the base. The next day, Ace, Sawa, and Luffy go to UA and arrive at the door, enter and sit down and start talking to their classmates and joking around since it since Aizawa didn't seem to come in yet. That's when All Might, out of nowhere, runs through the door yelling, I'm walking through the door like a normal person. To which Luffy says, what normal person introduces themselves like that while they're entering a room? Which makes people slightly chuckle. And after this, All Might tells them that they will be doing a hero versus villains exercise and points to the wall that had their design costume costumes popping out and instructed them to take the briefcases, change into their hero costumes and go outside. Once they got outside, All Might assigns the pairs and it is Sabo and Ace versus Bakugo and Hashira. So Luffy goes with Uraraka on this one. And as the other team is done setting up, the hero team is allowed to go in and Ace starts talking to Sabo and says, hey, I think that explosion guy might be coming for me. And Sabo says, why? You don't even know who he is. And Ace says, honestly, I feel like I've seen him somewhere before, but it doesn't really change the fact that he doesn't really like me. So he'll come at me. You can take that chance to head for the annoying guy. As they agree on a plan they start to hear explosions until Bakugo blasts out from the corner and shoots an explosion at Ace and Sabo takes the chance to get away and heads for the bomb. When the dust clears, Ace is fine with no scratches at all. He then extends his hand out, filling the whole hallway with kind of like a weak um, fire but it is everywhere and Bakugo can't escape but he also doesn't want to kill Bakugo. Bakugo hits uh, the wall, still leaving a dent in it, and Ace approaches him and says, You should give up, that wasn't even my full strength. And Bakugo gets up, uh, instantly punching Ace in the face, but his fist just passes through Ace's face, which shocks him and everyone watching in the room, from the room, because not only did can he control fire, but it's like he can become it as well. Then we cut back to Ace, who, after receiving Bakugo's technical punch, grabs the hand that Bakugo used, pulled him toward himself, and threw a solid punch at Bakugo's ribs, and the shock from the pain knocked him out. And then Ace heads off, and we cut to Saba, who is versing Hashira, who is throwing wind slashes to keep Saba away since he can't really go on a full on fight and he has to protect the bomb. And because he wanted to go after. Uh, Ace as well, but Bakugo just exploded out of there, so he had to stay there. Uh, Sabo just keeps dodging easily, and then Sabo slams his metal fist into the ground, and this made the rubble like start going everywhere like crazy. And the and in that moment, it distracted Hashira, and then Sabo kicks a piece of rubble at Hashira. This makes Hashira think that Sabo was coming from a certain path at him. And he sends a gust of wind that blasts the robo back, but he sees no Sabo. And then he hears All Might say, the hero team has won, and looks back to see that Sabo already touched the bomb, and realized that it was just all a big distraction. 
And since Sabo and their entire team, the trio, was pretty experienced, I think this would be pretty easy for all of them. Um, then Ace comes into the room, disappointed, and says, Dang it, you took all the fun for yourself. Why well, to ha have a boring fight? And Sabo says, What do you mean? This fight wasn't that fun either. Everyone else who was watching were just shocked and their jaws dropped because they took on someone like Bakugo and someone from the Midoriya family and said it was nothing. But then they also remembered, I mean, these guys are professionals technically, and they're close to being heroes, but they still had to come to UA. And Hashira says, don't think you can beat me. If we were on an open field, I would have won. Sabo says, you're kind of right, but I still have more fighting experience than you do. And Hashira says, whatever, while walking away in frustration. Soon, obviously, Bakugo wakes up and everything, well, you know, everyone just stops the fighting for a day and um uh he leaves in anger and luffy partnered up with uraka goes against kirishima and ojiro and wins i'm not sure if this is the order but i just put it in there because i can't be bothered to do their fight as well the next day as they're having lunch a sabo and luffy are being stared at because they have so much food on their plate and are just gobbling it down at a crazy rate and during this ace says so ida how's tensei and Ida, Ida said, wait, how do you know my brother? And Sabo responds by saying, once we were on a mission and we met him, so we got his name. And then Uraraka asks what's, what they're talking about, and she finds out that Ida is from a rich hero family and that his brother is in Genium. And that's when the alarm starts going crazy and students start panicking and one of them knocks over Luffy's food. Then Luffy piss stands on the table yelling, Shut up! We're a hero school. Why do you think a villain would attack a school full of court users? Be logical. Ace then looks outside and says, Besides, it's just the press. You guys really need to calm down. Everyone else looks outside to confirm that it is true and feel mad at Luffy and Ace but also can't really say anything because they can't argue against the reasoning. They were panicking for no reason even though there's a bunch of them they could easily take down a villain right now. After this, they go back to class and choose a class present uh, representative, and um, they choose Ace and Luffy because of what they did, and this pisses off Ashura the most, as well as Bakugo, and asks who picked those two. Ace accepts to be the class representative because he wants to be a leader in this one, and he's not really shy, he doesn't really shy away from it. Luffy says he doesn't want the position and gives it to Lee Ida instead, which everyone in... Um, which everyone agrees with and they're fine with it. So Momo isn't really gonna be Vice, unless you want her to be, and I'll just change it in the next one, just put it down in the comments. Um, that's when Aizawa mentions that they will be visiting the USJ and tells them to get ready for it. The next day, everyone gets on the bus with their costumes on and you guys can choose whatever you want. You think that um, this um, version of Deku will be wearing, use your imagination. And um, as they get on the bus, um, they started talking about their course and just like, you know, having some conversation. And then soon, Suyu asks, Ace, what's your quirk? And everyone started looking at him right away, which kind of creeped them out. And to their surprise, Ace says, oh, I never mentioned this, but I'm quirkless. This is just some weird ability. And everyone just says, what? Even Sabo and Luffy since they never really bothered to ask him, so they assumed it was a quirk. And Kaminari says, how did you two not know about this? You're practically family. Aizawa in the front also heard this and is completely shocked and then tells everyone to also settle down. Soon they arrive at the USJ entrance and enter to meet 13. And then uh, she introduces the USJ, by the way, 13 is a female. Um, she introduces them to the USJ and what they're doing and the importance of controlling your quirk no matter how safe it may seem. And as she does this, a portal starts to open up with villains coming out. And Kirishima says, oh, you have fake villains too? That's awesome. And Aizawa says, get back. Those are real. Sabo realizing what was happening because he investigated the League of Villains in the past, creates a metal arm and extends it to break the door and telling Ida to run out and get the heroes right away. And Ida does manage to leave easier this time. Then Ace asks if they can help Aizawa fight and Aizawa just lets it happen because they're, they're psychics, they have more experience than the other kids. 
and um, then portals start to open up behind them, taking some students to different places of the USJ. And the trio started fighting alongside Aizawa, merely using martial arts because they were taught a lot of strength training. It was drilled into them by Garp, and they were told to never really use their quirks unless completely necessary, especially against villains because they have to save their energy. And um, that's when Luf, um, they start fighting and fighting and fighting, and then soon they like decimate most of them, but then they get surrounded. And that's when Luffy tells everyone to duck as he stretches out his legs, spinning around and hitting the surrounding villains in one swift kick. And then the other students arrive from the different parts and start helping out. And some help out 13, who I believe was fighting against Kurogiri. And this time, all, um, Hashira finds out the, you know, the secret behind Kurogiri's weakness. Not that it's that big of a difference, just wanted to mention it. And... By this time, All Might arrived with the other heroes, and that's when Shigaraki started like scratching himself and started acting like a man child because he was completely cornered and he thought this was cheating and he started going psycho. And then he tells the Nomu to attack the students. And that's actually where I'm gonna leave it off. I hope you guys like this one. I'll be posting another one, like I said. It will be What If Goku Had the Renegon? I hope it goes well. Like I mentioned, I am a big Dragon Ball Z fan. So if you guys like it, uh, don't be afraid to give more suggestions as to what what ifs I should be posting more like that. And again, I'm going to be posting um, some Black Clover what ifs because I want to get back into that. So um, yeah.